How true is the saying, eat your carrots for good eyesight? Carrots contain beta-carotene. Our bodies convert it to a form of vitamin A called retinal. Retinal is important for the first chemical step of human vision, called phototransduction. Phototransduction is the process by which light is converted to an electrical signal that is understood by our brains. The process of phototransduction starts in the retina. At the back of the retina, there are two types of photoreceptor cells, the rods and the cones. Both types of cells work similarly to initiate phototransduction. The cones help us distinguish colors and perceive bright light. The rods are responsible for vision in low light settings. Both rods and cones rely on the molecule retinal to initiate phototransduction. Let's have a look at how retinal works within the rods to help us see in the dark. To begin, what happens when there is no light at all? In the dark, electrical charges on the inside and outside of rod cells are balanced, and the cells are said to be depolarized. This is thanks to the nucleotide gated ion channels, or CNG channels, which are open and allow the positively charged ions to enter. The opening of these channels is dependent on the presence of cyclic GMP, or C-GMP molecules, which bind to the channels temporarily opening the ion pores. Although the net positive charges in the rods are reduced constantly by ion pumps and other channels, the abundance of C-GMP ensures that a constant influx of positively charged ions will keep the cell in the depolarized state. This leads to the continuous release of the neurotransmitter glutamate at the rod synapses, which activates designated pathways to send the signal to the brain that it is dark. Light enters the eye through the cornea, travels to the back of the retina, and passes into the rod cells. The outer segment of a rod cell is made up of membrane discs. Embedded in these membranes are proteins called opsins. Retinal, the form of vitamin A mentioned earlier, binds to opsin to form a complex called rhodopsin. When a photon strikes the rhodopsin protein, the bound retinal changes its shape, causing the protein to change its shape as well. The activated rhodopsin interacts with another protein called transducin. Transducin is a type of G protein and consists of G alpha and G beta gamma subunits. When transducin interacts with the activated rhodopsin, the GDP bound to G alpha is exchanged for GTP, which causes the G alpha and G beta gamma subunits to dissociate. One activated rhodopsin can activate many transducins this way. Another important enzyme in the phototransduction process is the CGMP phosphodiesterase. In the dark, the active site of this enzyme is obscured by a protein peptide. G-alpha activates this enzyme, which in turn begins to convert cyclic GMP molecules into linear GMP molecules. As cyclic GMP molecules become scarce, the CNG channels close. This reduced ion influx, combined with the activities of the ion pumps, leads to polarization of the rods. In response to this signal, the rods stop releasing glutamate. The absence of glutamate is interpreted by the brain to mean that light is present. So, do carrots really help your eyesight? While carrots will not cure bad eyesight, they do provide necessary ingredients for correct vision function. Lack of beta-carotene in a diet leads to low vitamin A levels in the body, which is responsible for a well-understood form of night blindness that is associated with dry skin and frequent infections. Eating carrots can restore vitamin A levels and restore vision by allowing the rods and cones to function properly.